this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fog effect in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I have created a timeline. Go ahead, create a timeline. You can just keep this at default settings. And now you can go ahead and drag any footage that you have. So right now I have this footage over here. Let me just drag this to the timeline. And let's just go ahead and play this. So this is the footage that I have and I want to add a fog effect in this footage. So this is very simple. All you need to do is just select your footage and right click. Now go over to this option and select open in Fusion page. Now once you do that, this will take you to the Fusion page and this will be your footage connected to the media out. Now what you need to do is you need to drag in a merge node. The next thing you need to do is drag this fast noise and connect it with the merge. And here you can see we already have the kind of effect that we want. This is giving us that fog effect, but we will make some adjustments. So click on fast noise and go over to the details. Now, if you go ahead and increase this, this will give you a more detailed view, but this will not be kind of like a fog. This will be more like a smoke. So if you want to make it a fog, just reduce this, but make sure that this is not at zero because otherwise this will not work. So somewhere around two, this will work. But if you want something like a smoke, you can go, go ahead and increase the detail. So right now I'm just going to keep this around two. And you can also go ahead and change the contrast. So what this will do is this will give you the a more foggy effect if you decrease the contrast. But if you increase this, this will just mess up the effect. So just go ahead and decrease it, but don't go all the way to zero because we just need a slight reduction in the contrast. So somewhere around 0 0.75 will be enough. Now you can go ahead and keep the rest of the settings as they are. But if you want this fog to move, all you need to do is just change the this rate, C3 rate over here. So just go ahead and change this to somewhere around 0 0.7, 0 0.07. So if you go ahead and play this now, you can see that there is some movement within the fog. And if you want to increase the speed, you can go ahead and increase this. But if you increase this too much, this will not be in a fog effect. This will be something different. So if you want to make it appear more like a fog, you need to keep this at somewhere around 0 0.07. So this is the effect that this is the setting that worked for me. You can just go ahead and play around somewhere around here. So here you can see we have this fog that is moving at a very slow speed, but it does appear like fog. So this is the effect that we were going for. And now what you can do is if you want the fog to appear at a specific area in your footage, all you need to do is just drag a polygon tool or you can also drag the rectangle or ellipse as well if you want it to be more like rectangular or circular. So I'm just going to drag this rectangular and I'm going to connect it with the fast noise. Now go ahead and select the rectangle and increase the width. You can also change the height, but I'm just going to keep this at default, but I'm going to change the soft edge. So just make sure you change this all the way to this side. So this is 0 0.2. And if you just drag this downwards, and you will see that this is appearing over here within the bottom of our footage. So we don't want this to appear at the top. We just want it to be somewhere around here. And that's up to you. You can change the position if you want, or if you don't want it, you want the whole footage to include the fog effect. You can just go ahead and remove this mask. So if we go ahead and play this now, So this is the effect that we were going for, but you can always go ahead and make some adjustments in the fast noise. So you can also go ahead in the merge and you can change the blend to see if you want this to reduce the effect. So 
So this looks much better. So this was it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.